Hey guys, okay, I'm GM Minli here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry I was not able to upload anything for the last year since you know I just got I just got so busy with on the all the on the board events and some with schedules. So now I got the time. I want to restart my rapid speed run. I want to you know give some instructive content again on my channel. Hopefully you guys can enjoy it. And we can all learn things together for sure, right? <clears throat> so, I will try to play Rapid here on this account with the name Vina Memories, right? I will start with the rating of 1000. I will play the games, explain my thinking process in the game and trying to ask you guys some questions, answer questions from people and explain some deep ideas after the game finish sure <clears throat> so once again guys thank you for the things here i highly appreciate it and hopefully we can all enjoy this stuff so uh, i mean depends on how good this series can be i can try to make more videos of this one i guess feel free to give me some of your advices <clears throat> feedbacks and some recommendations to make it even better at the end of the day. Sure? So, let's start with it. We play 10 plus 0. So, let's go. <clears throat> For our first game, we met a guy named Broadham86. We are white. So, let's start the things here. So, here I think we should play, I mean, in the first game, he aborted. Okay, I have no choice, you know? I have no choice. He aborted the game. I guess I must play faster. <clears throat> now I think we met a Croatian. No, no, it's an Egyptian. Egyptian. Honey. Seven, 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 seven. Yeah, that is such, such a long seven name. Okay, let's play the Korok on this game. C6. <clears throat> D4. So we got the main Korokan variation here. I think I'll play D5. It's the main line, right? <clears throat> Why can't play here, 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 even here? Some choice made for him. He played e5. So here, this is the main line, which is called the advanced variation of the Karo card. So here, black can play two main moves, which f5 and c5. So for me, as a speedrun username, as an instructive lesson, I want to teach you guys something easier, which is f5. C5 is also fine, it will lead to some much more complex battle. But if you guys want, we may come back to that later on. Show F5, let's go. So ideas here is that you can play E6 without blocking your bishop, right? You can play like here to develop your pieces. Your bishop here can be a bit passive. Bishop D3. This move is seen a lot in the E level. People want to neutralize your bishop and treat it right away. But in fact, this lead to I think pretty simple play for black here. The way to play in this position is always pressures on d3. So quit this here, I think so. You didn't want to weaken the spawn structures and e6 right now. Now you can see right, the bishop on c8 didn't exist anymore. And you can be able to exchange it for this bishop on the on f1 on d3, right? So here in f3, you can play c5 instantly. This does work. But in fact, here in this line, so people I think they tend to play knight e7 more. This is actually a way to remember, guys. You want to play the knight here to go to f5. If you play something like Bishop e7, right? You can see that your bishop here will really your knight, your knight g8 will really struggle with the development, isn't it? That's why you may want to play here first and knight f5 right now. <clears throat> also, I haven't done a speedrun video for nearly a year, you know. So if I speak too fast or if I am not instructed enough. Just tell me so that I can change and I can improve in the next videos. <clears throat> 9g5. This thing, I will say it's not 
very precise by my opponent. The knight here doesn't threaten anything special. And moreover, in the opening, I think we should all know that we should try to develop pieces, right? So that's why I just simply play bishop e7. Develop and chase you know, at the same time. <clears throat> this is called developed with tempo. And it is always considered to be very decent in the opening. <clears throat> now, so f4, okay, you see, right? f4 is the thing you may want to do if he doesn't want to waste a move. But it may weaken his position here, and that is not such an easy move to be I mean, to be played. So, knight 3 was played here, and it can be seen quite easily, right? right? That he lost a tempo. Castles. <clears throat> Now we castles here and ready to play c5 next, which is actually a very important idea of this line. By c5 here, you attack the pawn d4, you try to get some more space for your pieces, right? And also you want to strike in the center. A really typical idea in this whole variation. Knight b5 was played pretty quickly. I don't know, I think the idea here is not that clear to me. Maybe the same one as g5, you just want to play here and then get back later on. I can play a6 right now, you know? But I think we just play this move, which I think is easier. This move here doesn't do much. So why don't we just try to develop pieces and complete our development, right? <clears throat> He may play like c3, defend the pawn, trying to keep the pawn chain alive, but let's see what he want to play first. I can play rook c8 now, get the rook to the center, push the pawn, okay, knight d6. This one is somewhat a strange one. He is giving me a free pawn. Take here is 5, but I want to, I want to be shop here to stay alive. I just take here with the knight. <clears throat> Pawn takes obviously, right? So I take with the queen. I think so. If you play with this here, it is also good, but it can allow knight g5. Which may become a bit tricky. I will mention later on. I will play this one, queen d6. I mean, we can definitely play bishop to, I mean, like, let's say play like here, right? But then I believe that the bishop here can be good at defending this square, also at some point. I believe that it should always be a nice thing to get bishop in the game. But I mean, you can play there as well, which I will explain in depth later on. For you guys who have some questions, Feel free to ask me and feel free to kind of, you know, talk about that after the game finish. Okay, so we play here. You can see, right? He wanted to play knight g5, but he saw that my bishop is covering it for a time being. So he trying to change the bishop. But here, so there is a nice tactics to allow me to be up material. The knight here is kind of over there, right? It defend both the bishop and the pawn on d4. So a small detail here came in knight d4. Somehow here you can see, right? Now he needs to play knight d4 or something else. But if you play here, I take the bishops. If you play here, bishop e7, I can take your back, but we can play an d4 and then we're down a pawn, right? We will not down a pawn, I don't know why I say that. Just like we lost a pawn, but here we got an intermezzo, knight 3 <clears throat> And now, we'll play this one next. As you can see here, we will be two pawns up, right? The two pawns in the center right here. And now you see, right? So now there comes the phase of converting. Normally, converting will 
include some face. Like you know, you're trying to get pieces out, you're trying to slowly push a pawn and career the passers, right? So first of all, let's bring your rook to the game. I will decide to put my rook on e8 and d8 this way. So, first of all, one thing you should never forget in your game is that your opponent always has some tricks, right? So here, but e1, he wanted to play queen d5, you see? For my level, I always try and ask myself, what does my opponent want, you know? After that, I realized, okay, you want to go here. So, I played rook d8. Not only, not only it fit my pieces, but in the same time, I prevented him from carrying his threat as well. Queen e3, rook e8. My plan went the same, put the rook in the center and ready for the pawn to raise. e5, e4, d4, and push the pawn. Queen e3, attack my pawn on a7, right? The pawn on c5 is safe, but I think to make it simple, I play b6. Keep both the pawn alive, right? And now I can just be ready with one push. We have a position where we're two pawns up, and why doesn't really have any kind of things. Look, e5. So this one, I think it is a, I mean, this is a very interesting way of white to mess me up. But here, I just put f6. I don't think that this one is winning here, especially when most of the pieces has gone. You can see my pawn shot now, right? It looks interesting. Very interesting here. e4. Why not? We got a strong center now, and you can see it can get supported by my pawn army g4 here he clearly shows that he want to attack my pawn center he want to put pressure on my pawns but take here take here with the pawn you know that is fine i don't want to allow that to happen i think i will simply i mean i can play here if i want to as well i don't know there will be multiple ways to play one more ways to play here for me so i will choose the move that i think is the simplest Obviously here you can play plenty of moves. Even like take here, d4, rook d6, f8, whatever is fine. I will play queen g5. But queen g5, I want to put pressure on his king right away. And with that, I think he will be in we will be in some pressure. His king looks weakening. His king looks a bit weakening, isn't it? King g1. I mean he play, he play h3. Queen f4 was played. Somehow now his king is even more exposed. Queen g3 can be a threat. His pawn may fall next, and it looks very annoying, isn't it? <clears throat> queen a7 can be done, but queen g3 can play myself, and I will take all his pawns. I think he's in big trouble right now. Not so easy to play the best move, in my opinion. He may play king g2, but I can play like take here in g4, or play d4 if I want to. King f2. This one is not a good move, but I guess it's not easy to recommend something special. Now I play queen h2. <clears throat> king e3. Wow. You see, right? His king want to run. But sadly, it is super dangerous. When there are still some major forces in the board, I do not I do not recommend you to run the game this way, right? It looks kind of scary. E f3, open up the file with tempo. This is basically forcing, so I go queen h3 here, winning some more pawns first. I can take here as well if I want to as well, but I think just take here first here since we can always come back to the pawn later. King f4, allow me in one, so king f2 is forcing. I will come back here again. Um, my opponent can try to defend things a little bit more, but rather than that, he commits suicide. But 
His progression, I think, is already beyond saving. So, mid. <clears throat> so, this is the first game of my speedrun, right? We met him here, and that was pretty smooth, I must say that. Okay, GG. Thank you, honey, for the game. Appreciate it. So now let's come to the game again. Explain this in depth and answer all the questions. <clears throat> okay. So first of all, so as mentioned earlier, I haven't done this thing for so long, so I may have forgotten how to do it well, or what can I speak to make it more instructive. So please give me some more feedbacks and some kind of advices later on. Sure. And second, so I don't think I can be able to answer all the questions I can in the game. So just put it there or just like span that so we can talk it about it, you know, when the game finish. Sure. <clears throat> okay. So in the game here, let's show you the game. And this first, this one, the thing to do. And go for the review first. <clears throat> Before we talk about things, let's review the game. You see it, right? So, nice game. You win in, you never in trouble. I made two inaccuracies, you know? But uh, this, happens, this happens sometimes. I'm very sorry for that. Uh, I get a rating of 1650. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. So, let's get back to the game and try to analyze that in depth. <clears throat> so, in the game, we, what happened is that he played e4. Play e4. c6. d4, d5. Right? It's the only thing happened in the game. e5. Bishop f5. <clears throat> As I mentioned many times earlier, so c5 here is also playable, right? It will lead to a variation of you know, DC5, which is the main line. So play this one here, or this one is fine as well, this one is fine as well too. I, can I can't even remember a game. I can remember a game where I think Nippon Niashi played with Jokovanko Dimitri. I think in like 2020, where why win a crushing game with G4. So this thing, in fact, is somewhat more, I think, not so easy to play. That's why I think the easiest way to just play bishop f5. So if you play knight f3, you play e6. And you can see that right now, so your pawn push will not block bishop's way, right? So bishop e2 is the main line here. You can play knight e7, knight e7, c5. You know, I think you can even play here as well. There are many lines here, but the main line here is like, I think, knight e7 and knight e7. <clears throat> In the game, should it be worth play? For people who play the Korokon, this thing I will say is kind of common, right? Especially in other level. He went for the crits. Text, text and e6. This thing allowed black to, I mean now, didn't block the bishop anymore and develop properly. Now I have three. But one main thing here people need to know is that Somehow, the development must be done a bit careful. Somehow, you can see, right? This is impossible. So here, the normal way to play is this one and this one, which is what I played in the game. See, right? 97 and 95. If you play here, right? It can run into the like castles, and you will see that your knight cannot develop easily. This is fine, but I think you can see that this weakens your structure a little bit, right? which is not that easy to play in an early level. That's why this is considered to be somewhat simplest. C5 here is okay, but it can lead to maybe some tricks like take here and queen b5, right? When, I mean, it's not losing for you, but you may drop a pawn. <clears throat> Isn't it? Thank you for the feedback. I will read it out loud later on. So here in the game, mm -hmm. I play knight 7 castles, knight 5 People might ask, okay, can G4 be played, right? But I can just the knight 4 
So G4 here will be really weakening, right? This king here looks a bit weakened as well. And G5 doesn't work, it's a knife 3. And you win a piece. Isn't it? So here in the game, knight G5. This thing, I must say, is not fully precise. And I think you can see here that the engine also doesn't like it. Right? But here, take the knight away. In fact, here, I think the best way for white to continue with his idea is f4, f4. So here, there can be, I mean, a small traps. If you play castles, right? White can play g4, g4. And then, all of a sudden, you can be in some trouble. You run the knight away, right? It is mid in one. If you play here, you take with the knight this way, and now you can see, right? Suddenly, Y got a pretty strong attack. But here, if you f4, I can recommend knight d7. d7. Just keep on developing. If you play g4 now, so guys, can you tell me? Can you tell me what can Black do now to win material? There is a basic combination now. The least to winning a pawn. What is that? <clears throat> I think it should be the best to allow you to think for around one minute per question, right? so that you guys have time to visualize and look at the board closely. <clears throat> the way to play here is mentioned by some people on the chat. 94, that's what is correct. Here, so you can try to exploit this diagonal, right? Which is open after f4. See that? So here, Queen d4, and then queen d4 allow this. With a skewer, you win material, right? <clears throat> so in the game, my opponent didn't play that, which is a bit sad. You play knight f3, you just decided to go back home. Castles, knight c3, d5. As I mentioned in the game, it is a very important idea and something you should know. Since this is actually a very typical way that black need to play in these set of positions. Knight b5. The engine didn't like it, you know. It thinks that this one here is just a waste of tempo. I'm pretty sure the engine scream here for a6. When you chase the knight right away, and you can be able to put pressure on the center. In the game, so I decided to look for a simpler way. I play knight here. Obviously, the engine has it. I think if you play like here, you know, here for instance, has c3, right? Only move here, you can play like, I think just typically, I think like here for instance, 94, and here and here, and you see now, right? Suddenly, I think you have great play on the center. This pawn is weak, isn't it? And somehow, if you play queen d3, d4, this other game on the spot, right? In the game here, play this move. I think I can play c3, which should be the best way to keep the pawn structures contact. Here I can play here again, which is my plan. So now a3, I will text and go to c8. I will get a pretty strong open fire, right? So can knight b4 next, I mean, or like queen b6, put pressure on the pawn d4, with I think a very playable game. In the game, play this move. So I'll take here with the knight. What I can say here is that there was a question in the chat earlier asking why I play here or don't play this. In fact, I'm pretty sure the engine wanted me to play knight d4. I'm pretty sure about that. And then you play here and you play here and you can take the knight later on. But I think it should be nice to treat the annoying looking knight on this is right away, right? Also, I want to put the bishop here on e7 to stop these ideas. 
for instance, if you play like here, for instance, right, text, and this, why can play bc5, or moreover, nash5. <clears throat> when there can be some annoying threat to the pawn on a 7 right? You play here, it is mid on the spot, isn't it? That's why here I think treat it right away is the best thing to do. And I want to keep the shop here in order to make it safe. If you play like here, for instance, right? Nice g 5 can be annoying. A6 is against mid, f5 with the pawn, right? And here, can lock queen is 3. And I think you can see here that it looks a bit fucking right? Now we can play g4 and try and go for some fire, although it should not working, but it looks a bit scary, isn't it? <clears throat> so one thing I want to say is that I want to avoid these things. I want to make the game look like the simplest to you guys, understand? So in the game, for this one, d6. g5 here. So you play here right now. Again, this one, right? And the same threat. But here I got 94. Which I use here to exploit the overloading knight on f3. See that? If you play here, I text here, and then we are two points up again. In the game, you play here. So I take here first, an intermezzo, we have three, and queen is seven. I don't know why the engine gives this one an exclamation mark. Considering that you have no other choice, right? Group e1 here, group d8, defend against queen d5, right? Queen e3, group e8, queen a3, b6. So here, there was a question on the chat. Why I don't play the natural looking move a6, right? The thing is that here, so by queen a3, I put pressure on both of my pawn. By playing a6, I can defend a pawn here, but the pawn on c5 will still be in pressure, right? So I play b6, which look my I mean make my pawn structure looking much more beautiful and safe in the same time. This pawn here can be easily covered, right? Like my here for instance, and I think my queen can you know do some other things. See that? I mean, he may not see queen d5, I know that. But if you want to get better, I think it should be, you know, a good idea to see your opponent's ideas, right? Although I agree that he may not say that. But still, I think it's good to understand and know what your opponent want to do in advance. Understand me, right? In the game here, so play b6 here, which looks much more, I think, Reasonable. In the game here, I push the pawn quickly. Here, e5, e4. You see, right? My plan just keep push the pawn and create the passers. Here, f5. You see that, right? And I think we are having a great position here. I think if I want to stay in the game, you should play queen b3 or something slowly. But it's hard to recommend something good, you know? In the game, you should always play queen g5. Put pressure on the pawn. And the king right away. H3, queen f4. You see, right? It looks only very annoying here and not so simple to get something nice. King g2 can be considered, but I play d4 myself. And then I play, like, you know, if I play queen here, I play take here, right? And win material. If I play take here, I take it with the pawn. And then here, for instance, I play queen f3. You see as well, right? When now things look very, very bad. My pieces got to the attack in a very very quick way in the game he blundered he played queen f2 and play here queen h2 checks he f1 we play here but i just take the pawn and now his position kind of collapses isn't it in the game he allowed a quick bit he f3 this here queen h3 he should play here again when i can just play this you know here and this one and i can win the game very something simple for instance right this is the way to finish the game but in the game here he allowed me to meet him on the spot g4 right which is the end of the way finish <clears throat> after queen f5 what if it takes on the right away i think you mean queen g5 right or i think here this one isn't it 
here, so I think this should be the best thing you can do. But I do plan here to play f4. This is my plan. I can also play h5 as well, which is also a new knife to play, you know, when I can be able to put extreme pressure on his king. That is what I am prioritizing on. Here, for instance, right, I play f4 and here, see, right? Suddenly, his king is in big pressure. I hear so I play like f3 or e3, you know. You can see here that now I lose some of my pawns. But I managed to create a great attack here. And my pawn menacing looks very dangerous. Isn't it? But I think he still should go for this move. Instead here, he weakened his own king side and allowed me to go for the deadly invasion of my queen. You understand? So that's how the game finished. So any kind of questions or any review plus? You know, I haven't done this one for so long. This is like my first speedrun game after I think a year, you know, a year. So I might not make that very, very perfectly. That's why I am really honored if there can be any kind of, you know, ideas or some kind of thing that, that let me make it better. <clears throat> Queen h4 do the same thing? Um, kind of. But here, Queen h4, I can play like, let's say, King g2, you know. But this is the thing that can be done. Queen f4 is better. Since Queen f4 here, I can let it go to here as well, you know. Which is what happened in the game. Also by Queen f4, my queen can attack f3 too as well and can support the center pawn in an easier way. Right? When he castles, what point you want to focus on? I mean, like here earlier, right? Normally here, so after the castles, I want to play c5 and my idea will be pretty, I think, focus on the center. Which is not only the typical idea in the Karukan variation, but also the way to put pressure on his center and get us more space too. Why not immediately open up the pawns in front of king? Um, not that easy. At this point, I think let's say for instance, right? If you play like here, he may play here and then it's not too easy to do so. h5, queen, g3 for instance. In the game, so I saw some holes you can try and exploit. That's why I play here, you know? But you can play as you want to as well. I just think that it should be nicer if we can try to invade and try and exploit some holes that was open to us. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Any questions, Slap? <clears throat> no worries, my pleasure. I mean, so once again, I haven't done this thing for so long. What is the reasoning for why turning up the last baby shops? This thing may seem odd, but it is seen a lot of time. It is just a normal developing move, and then the bishop on f5 may, you know, prove annoying in some lines. That's why you see this trade a lot of time. Although, objectively speaking, it is not the best move for white in this position. <clears throat> but in a level, we see that like all the times. All the times. So once again guys, thank you for enjoying the video. I hope that you can give me some more feedback on my YouTube videos. I will try to upload later on via my YouTube channel. Also, thank you guys for some ideas. Thank you guys for the questions. Hope you enjoy the videos. I will try to keep up with that, you know, very regularly. Maybe one or two games per week or even more if you guys prefer. So thank you for the things, and yeah, I mean, I don't know, in the game here, I think you can see it quite clearly that why does lose some tempo with the knight? He did it twice, you can see, right? With knight g5 and knight b5. He made two same mistakes, which should be allowed. I think you can play like, you know, here for instance, c3, bishop f4, knight d2, whatever, you know, or c4. Much more natural way of developing. Where is that? 
why the west so many temples on move the night around you know and go back home so that should be i think about it next time <clears throat> which is i think a very important way of knowing how to play and how to make developing ideas for a site <clears throat> okay, that's it so i will stop recording the video thank you guys for enjoying the games and hopefully you give me some feedback to learn thank you and see you later